New at 10, it's International Women's Day, and we want to thank the many inspirational women who have served our country. Way 31's Nicole Zedek spoke with the CEO of Still Serving Veterans and learned more about how women's participation and roles in the military have drastically changed over the years. Nicole. Huntsville actually has one of the largest female veteran populations in the state, with women making up about 13% of our local veterans here. Now, that high percentage rate, it's even more impressive when you think only 50 years ago, women made up only 1% of all military personnel throughout the nation. The thing about the t at that time, there were no women in West Point, no women in the service academies, no women in ROTC. So it, joining the military was a little bit different. When you walk into the CEO of Still Serving Veterans Office, you're surrounded by 30 years of Paulette Risher's military memorabilia. Women are in positions today that wouldn't even been possible or conceived of a generation ago. All thanks to the doors she helped open. Risher was in the first group of women to attend Branch Basic School back in 1972. But it took us a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden we began to understand that people were looking to us to either fail or to succeed and we were committed to succeed. She did more than just succeed, she excelled, quickly moving up in ranks. I was the first woman to have served as a general officer in U.S. Special Operations Command. Once they got over this, she's not really a social experiment, <laughs> she really knows what she's doing. It was a great tour. Today, women make up about 15% of the military, but they still don't get recognized the same way. He says, oh, your husband was in the military. And I said, yes, sir, he was. He was a Vietnam veteran. He paid very dearly for that service. Um, but that's not his tags, and those are not his car. <laughs> and he looked at me, and you could tell there was there's no malice here. He just didn't think the little gray-haired lady's a veteran. She might say it with a laugh, but it's a serious matter. To be not recognized for that service, that's a big deal. Now she helps recognize and serve the thousands of female and male veterans in our community as the CEO of Still Serving Veterans. I always said that my life was dedicated to defending the nation and taking care of the troops. Defending the nation is somebody else's job, but taking care of the troops I can still do. Risher spent a total of 34 years in both active and reserve military service, and she says it's really inspirational to see how the female military population has grown and changed over those years. Reporting live in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. Nicole, thanks. Risher has been the CEO of Still Serving Veterans for the past three years. The local nonprofit helps veterans find jobs in the community after their military service.